multiplying and dividing them. Multiply and dividing them, which should make you happy because multiplying and dividing fractions is by far easier than adding or subtracting. Mostly because why? When you add or subtract fractions, you have to come up with equal bottom numbers. When you multiply, you don't. The rule for multiplying fractions, if I have 1 half times 2 thirds, what is my rule? To multiply, to multiply, you just, Peter, right. multiply across. In other words, when you multiply fractions, you just have to do this, go across, and you end up with 2 over 6, and then you reduce it to 1 third. But since you're 7th graders, I'm going to tell you, you should have done what first? It's fine to do it that way, but your life will be much easier if you do what, Gary? Right. you got to get in the habit of cross-canceling. And that's only when you multiply. Okay, you should have seen that there's a two in a, on top, on bottom. You have both that two. It's like reducing before you multiply. Since these are both twos, you can divide them both by two, and you end up with ones there. And then you just end up with one times one is one, and one times three is three, and you end up with one third right there. And that especially helps if you got something like this: fifteen over twenty-four times, I don't know, uh, 48 over 60. Nobody really wants to do that long multiplication and try to reduce it at the end. Rather than that, you want to cross off what? What goes into what there, right? What do I get? 24 goes to 24 once, 48 twice. What about 15 and 30? I mean 15 and 60. You what? 15 goes into 15 once and into 60 four times. And you can even go again. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 4 twice. So in the end, you're left with 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 half. Now if you would have multiplied that out, you've got, what is 48 times 15, anybody? 248. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's something big. Uh, what about dividing? Dividing is almost as easy as multiplying, except for one short, small thing in the rule. I think I'm going to try and shrink this down. Can I? Mm -hmm. To divide, what if I have 5H divided by 1 half? What do you have to do there, Calvin? Um, you have to, like, flip the numbers on the second. Yep. To divide, you flip the second fraction and multiply. Okay. By the way, when you flip a fraction over, what is that called? I remember? We probably should put that in our notes somewhere because we need to know that. When you flip a fraction over, it's called its reciprocal. In fact, I'm going to stop the movie.